Hello again, Wet Shavers. This is Ben Langley again with WetShavingForYou.com. I apologize, it's been a few weeks since I've able to post a video. Um, truth be told, we are buying a new house. And so everything that goes along with that, packing boxes, getting the house ready, um, going with inspections and appraisals and all that good stuff. So, do a, a video today on scuttles. <clears throat> I don't know how many of you have ever used a scuttle. It's, it's, uh, it kind of takes your wet shaving experience up a notch as far as luxurious or how luxury, uh, you know, plays into the, the picture there. So I want to talk to you a little bit about a, a scuttle. I just got one, um, read about them for a while. I started using it and I want to talk to you about that today. So, uh, here's the scuttle. I bought it. It's from Q Shave and I'll put a link in the description below so you can uh, have a look at that. It's a decent size bowl. I've never actually been a bowl lather before. Uh, but I have to tell you, I've fallen in love with it. Um, I used to just face lather, but I find that I get more control with how much water to soap ratio I kind of I have with this. And I'll, I'll lather this up a little bit in a second here to show you. But if you look inside here, if you've never seen a shaving bowl before, and I'll talk to you about this in a second, that's part of my review of the Q Shave. Um, but if you look on the inside here, you can see these little, uh, I don't know what you call them, nodules or something on the bottom here, little bumps. And then they've got all these little lined ridges. Get that a little bit closer so you can see. Um, when, you're, when you're using your shaving brush and you're brushing uh, the soap inside there, those ridges help to kind of massage the soap and create that lather a little bit nicer, a little bit quicker. So that helps with that process. <clears throat> what, what's different from a shaving of a bowl, a, rather sh uh, a regular shaving bowl, which, which wouldn't have this little hole over here, and this scuttle um, is you, you, the same thing. You'll, you'll have these ridges and whatnot to help with that. But what the scuttle does is you're able to pour water in this little hole here. And this is part of my review, which I would warn you if you decide to buy a Q shave, um, just to be careful. I mean, it's it's a cheaper option. I'm a bit of a cheapskate. <laughs> so when it comes to stuff, uh, try and save as much money as I can. So I tried to go, I saw some reviews on it, thought it looked pretty good. <clears throat> they have this, I don't know if it's plastic or what it is, but this little, thing you put in the top here after you've poured hot water. Don't pour boiling water in here. Uh, that's not helpful or I think it doesn't you know, affect the how how well the lather is created and stayed. But what you do is you pour hot water in here and you put this little plastic cap on top and then that has like this outer chamber here holds the water and it helps to keep your lather nice and warm so when you're shaving and putting on your face it just it doesn't feel hot. It, it just feels kind of warm and comfortable. Okay, so what happened with this one, I was, wanted to try this a couple times before I did the video, was um, I pushed it in, I don't know if the water was too hot, but it basically popped it right back up. And I tried that a couple times, I'm like, just stay in there, stay in there where you belong, right? That's where you belong, in that hole. And so what happened was I pushed it in with a little bit more force and pop, it went right in the hole. So Q Shave, a company I bought it from, bought it I think on Amazon, and they um, they were good to issue me a full refund. So I kind of got a free shaving scuttle slash mug. I just need to find a way to get that out of the hole. So um, I've really fallen in love with these Sterling soaps. This one's coconut lime. Has a really, really fresh, fresh scent in there. Um, I'm going to be using that, I'm going to be using that today. Uh, and I'll include this in the description as well, um, just a link to their website. I don't get any kind of referral fee for them, but I really like their soaps. It says, beef tallow, steric acid, distilled water, castor oil, potassium hydroxide, vegetable glycerin, fragrance oil, almond oil, shea butter, I like that, coconut milk, lanolin, sodium hydroxide, and sodium lactate. Um, I find get a really good lather from this and it smells amazing. I can't help but smell it every time I get it out. Okay, so what I would recommend is taking your
bowl if you have one or scuttle if you have one. And I like to just put a little bit of hot water in there just to let it sit and I empty it out and it leaves little water kind of traces or residue in there. That's, so this is where we're gonna start. So I'm gonna put some hot water in there. See, I've got water in there. And you can let it sit. If you're using the scuttle, what you can do if you're trying to hurry kind of the process up is you can fill this with hot water and just let it sit for like a 30 seconds or a minute or whatever, a short time. Make sure you put hot water in the hole and put the cap on. I've noticed online there are some different scuttles. Maybe we'll try and find one that, that we can, uh, that I can recommend, but that have little steel caps. So I think it prevents it from going in there. But then I just dump it out. And like I said, it just kind of leaves, you probably can't see it very well, but just leaves little traces of water. And I think that helps with when you're lathering the soap. So normally I would, uh, normally I would soak the brush a little bit more, but I'm just going to show you here. So I'm just going to get it wet. You don't really need to get it too wet. I'm going to shake out the excess water. And then you just run that. Try and do it here so you can see it. Run it over the soap. And judging by how much I've used this soap, you know, it costs a little bit more, but it's a lot. It's a very nice soap, I think. Uh, I'm really loving sterling. For you beginners, if you can look, really hard to show you, but you can almost see just little bubbles. And that, I mean, and we know that, that that's not Loading, loading the brush very well. You want you don't want to have those tiny bubbles when you create your lather. You just want the tips of the brush to be loaded up with some of that soap. And I think the problem with doing it inside a container like this is you don't have the chance to add water like you do in a bowl or a scuttle. So Soaps, I'm gonna talk a little bit while I'm doing this. Soaps a little bit harder than creams. They also have, I think they call them cropes, where it's kind of a combination between the two. But if we talk just about between a soap and a cream, your soaps are gonna be harder. It'll be easier to lather up your soaps because they're harder with something like a bore brush. If you're using a badger brush like the one I have here, it just takes a little bit longer. And so for, for purposes of this video, that's probably pretty good. And see if I can get it in. Kind of fills the ends or the tips of those brushes or uh, of the hair on uh, the brush. So then what you can do is you transfer it to the bowl and you're just kind of whisking it around or spinning it around. All right, with a little bit of water in there. It already looks decent. It's not creating much of a lather. A little bit. What you're, what, what you're basically looking for for you beginners is that they kind of call it a Cool Whip consistency. So it kind of looks like Cool Whip. It's got little peaks in it. If you think about like a little dollop of Cool Whip on top of, you know, pie, kind of just sticks up just a little bit. Kind of has just that little bit of a peak or height to it. You kind of see a little bit. See that right there? See that peak? That's not bad. But but what you can do is you can take just a little bit of water. And I'll get down here. And you can just see if I can show this on the camera. I get get some water in my hand, and I can just dribble. Just you know. Just dribble in a few drops. Dry my hand over here a second. And then you can keep working in the bowl. And you should add a little bit of water at a time. It's a lot harder to add more soap. But it's always easy to add just a little bit of water. See the peak's kind of a little bit taller than that one. And I think if my brush was a little bit bigger, it would hold more lather. I haven't found that I really needed that, although I have been tempted to try another badger brush, so maybe I'll look into that. But it's looking pretty nice, and that's it. 
Um, when you are using a scuttle, since it keeps it since it keeps it warm between your passes, you can you know apply this to your face, and then you can just leave it in the bowl and the hot water on the outer in the outer chamber. It's going to keep that warm. And so that's my video today on scuttles. I think they do a great job. Um, I don't think I'm ever going to go back to face lathering again. Um, some people face, are lathering their hand, and that that's another way you can do it. So. So you get the, uh, after you've loaded the brush, you know, from, gone from your container to the brush, instead of going to the scuttle or the bowl, you can just apply in your hand. And then as you need a little bit of water, you can just add a little bit to it. Uh, a method I've seen, if you're face lathering, is running like just the, just a little bit of water from your sink or your tap, just running across the brush. And, and that seems to get water into the into the brush as you're kind of face lathering. I don't know, it, it just doesn't seem to have as much control, or I didn't seem to have as much control with it um, otherwise. So one other tip that I'll throw out here before we end the video, because it is getting a little long, is if you, for the beginners, if you want the best cream that you lather, it's not on the outside, it's, it's worked its way down into the brush. And so what I do is I just, Put my hand on the edge and squeeze. You can squeeze it out. That's good lather right there. And then it has the best inside the brush, right? And so what I do is I'll then take and I'll just kind of push it off my hand or take it off my hand. Hard to do this while I'm looking at the camera. And there it is, it's in my bowl now. So now I can use this, rinse it off and I, I, I can use that just take my brush and then get on the tips of the brush and then you got the best um, lather from the inside of your brush that you're working with. So just some tips, just something I've, I've learned and looked at. I think that it's a significant improvement for me. I don't get as much of the, of the lather that gets stuck in my, um, if you have a closed comb razor, for example, it doesn't get stuck as easy in there. And I feel it gives much better protection when I have that ratio of um, water to soap or water to cream. I have that perfect ratio for me and my face, which you'll have to play with. But when you get that, that, that better ratio, you get better protection on your face and you'll get better shapes, guaranteed. So uh, hopefully you like this video and add some value to you. Like I said, I'll, I'll add some links below so you can kind of look at some of those, those items. But uh, feel free to leave a comment. Um, I'd love to add some more subscribers, so keep following me. I'll keep trying to add videos as we're moving. It's a little bit hectic, but I'll try and add some more videos and even start a beginner series for you beginners out there who want to know about finding a razor and the angle that you use it at and uh, different soaps and things I'd uh, kind, of, kind of look at and how to get started. So anyways, thanks for watching and uh, we'll see you soon.